Hello everybody, when I did my first video about Clap the Clever Audio plugin interface, I did not expect that this video would get quite some traction, even made it up on Sonic State, and that there would be so much interest in a new open format for implementing your audio plugins. So yesterday version one was released and I thought it would be very, very necessary to do an updated video because I noticed more people start now watching the old video, which is a bit outdated. So this is the main reason for that. So what is the state of the game now in June 2022? In this video, I will first start now looking a bit at the community, what happened since March, who's now part of the game of the Clap game and the benefits you will get using Clap from an end user perspective. I might do a separate developer's viewpoint video and I want to know if you would be interested in that down in the comments. So, and then what is there already, what we can do and we will finally do some hands-on example and tests of host and plugin implementations which already support clap as i said version 1.0 is out and on github people working already on 102 so already some bug fixes happening and some clarifications so it's still a lot of movement in there you can read up all about the announcement here, for example, on Yuhi's page, but as well on Bitwig page and also on Search. And all the people who supported had a press release about this. And there you get all the details and also many, many links to all the supporters and also most of the links I show in this video as well. Also, all the links of this video are also down in the comments. Just check that out if you want to get further information. Also, Clap has now a really nice logo, which is that one. And if you want to grab all the different versions, you can also get them from GitHub if you want to support the format. And if you want to know all the details, what is the meaning of this logo, you can read up Urs comments about this on his private page. Also, there is now an official Clap homepage, which is currently only a redirect to the GitHub repo, but I guess this will be a more proper starting page later on. As I said, when I do this video, it was released yesterday, so there are many, many reactions and it's very surprising. The responses are very, very positive so far. Only a few negative ones, which basically are the name. Okay, we had this discussion before. I really like the name. And okay, the XKCD927. If you don't know about it, just click that link. This old meme about standards. And I think this is already no need to talk about that because if you see who are all the supporters now and what is already there, I think we can stop this discussion right now. Because already in March, there was a beta version of Bitwig Studio, which full support of Clap already. And now is the second one, more unknown one, Multitrack Studio, but also available for testing. And we have different plugins now. Also yesterday, Yuhi released Ace, Diva, Hive and MFM betas, which have support for Clap. And there is also one smaller developer, Chotari DSP, also released nightly builds of their plugins as well. And also Search Team has Search XT support, the version 1.1 beta, which is to be expected in July to have the final release. And you can grab that also now from the official webpage. We will look into these three things later on and also have some hand on demos with them. But there are many, many supporters already for the project. And I just read on the forum on KVR that Urs said this was actually not the plan to have right from the start so many supporters. They just wanted to release it, then have a proof of concept, then it works, and then talk to people. But it turned out all these companies here on this list showed up themselves and showed some interest in Clap and wanted to be part of the game. And if you check out these names, there are quite impressive First, looking at hosts, it's really surprising. So Avid Pro Tools is part of the game and it seems to be pretty sure that this support will be coming. 
Yeah, in general, to that list, you can say companies normally do not lightly put their name on such lists. So I think that these are pretty sure to really support Clap as well. And it's not only, uh, yeah, we might look into that as well. Cocos Reaper also often use DAW as well as Brisonos, which stands for Studio One. So three very common names. Also some, some smaller ones. Tractor is, I think, already finished. Already a prototype is available. I'm not sure if it's available, but also working. So if you're more into the open source area, and looking at the plug inside, yeah, also some big names here. Arturia with the big bundle wants to support Clap. Uh, Valhalla DSP, which is a small company, but has really state of the art reverbs, which everybody should check out. Also Fab Filter and ImageLine also have lots of lots of plugins. And these would be great to see them in uh, maybe hopefully not too far future. One that absolutely needs to be pointed out is Epic Games, something you did not expect. Epic Games stands here for the Unreal Engine. And if you're a little bit into gaming, you know that this is the basis for many, many games. And this is a very, very interesting thing because gaming is where the money is nowadays for music as well. So if that one would support Clap, this will be really big. Also it was pointed out on the forum that they talked to the Clap people, not the other the way around so they have a huge interest into supporting that and this is really really cool and i think if this happens this will give a big traction to the clap standard Already in my previous video, I talked a lot about the benefits, not only for users, but also for developers. All these things were not really totally clear to me as well. So we have now some more better clarification what these things are actually are about. And I just picked out the three most important ones for end users and let's go through them. It said better performance from modern CPUs. I'm not into really this measurement business. I leave that <laughs> to other people, but uh, some first results of some tests that people did, it seems that if you switch off multi-core, it's pretty similar. So it's equal speed with VSD3, which is already a good message. But if you switch on now the support for multi-core, which means this is a multi-threading support management of Clap. For example, there is one user who did a little experiment. So up to 20 instances of Diva show a lot less CPU spike, whatever that means. But uh, as you know, spikes are always bad in DOM if you want to have real-time audio. And so this is already a very good first result. Better and faster organization. I also talked about that. And the thing about it is with VSTs, you need not only to find VST file, you not only need to read it, but you also need to instantiate it, which means it needs to run so you can get the metadata. And this takes quite some time. So the scanning process is very slow. With CLAP, this is not necessary. You only need to read part of the CLAP file, which is standardized, this metadata. And then you already know what is the name and what uh, what type of plugin of that is and so on. And there's also a little utility on GitHub, which allows you to dump that information yourself. So you can also use that for testing. Finally, the most interesting new addition is the better modulation. And we first have to understand, I think, what this is, automation and modulation. And the thing is that Clap supports per node automation and modulation. This is sounds all very complicated, but is pretty easy to understand if you see it and so I think we just skip that slide and I will show you that in a second in practice how that works. But one thing maybe to note is there was a question also in the forum what is the rate of modulation and it's actually sample accurate which yeah basically means it's audio rate. But before we dive in you should understand something the difference between automation and modulation. Automating a parameter can be done by any door on the market so what what that means is that you modify the value. So if you have dialed in, for example, a filter cutoff at a specific value, then you apply an automation. This will change this value. So your patch changes as well. And you can go as far as to say it destroys your patch. You cannot modify that value anymore also in the patch because it's controlled now fully by this automation. The difference to modulation is that modulation is a temporary change. So it should also also not move your knob or fader in your door. And this is what they mean with non-destructive. So this was also not fully clear to me what the meaning of non-destructive was when there was the first info about clap. 
So Clap implements that by using two separate channels for that. One is this automation uh, channel and the other one is a modulation channel. This is also optional. So you can, when you implement your plugins with Clap, you can start very easily and then add to that the more complicated stuff later on as well. Finally, let's have some fun and try out some real stuff here. For that, we just take Bitwig Studio in the latest beta release of the 4.3 version, beta 6, that namely is. And Clap plugins are now first class citizens. That means so far, polyphonic parameter modulation and voice stacking was only available for Bitwig's own plugins. And you can now do that with all clap plugins and i will show that in a second and also this clap true configuration i showed in the previous video is no longer necessary so clap is showing up directly now in that version also yesterday yuhi released beta versions of ace diva hive and mfm which support now clap not everything yet so voice stacking is not yet working and there is a bug with Clyde, but nevertheless most of the stuff works and there were also some detailed release notes and i guess there will be new betas coming soon with more features for that that as well and search team is already pretty far so they also have voice stacking working and you can download their 1.1 beta already and we will look into that now so let's switch over to Bitwig. I already have it running here so latest beta version so what is normal automation i loaded here my good old synth one from back in the days which is a vst2 plugin and what i did here is have a simple automation of the frequency parameter and when you start playing that you will see the frequency changes the problem with that is that i cannot tweak the parameter anymore this gets very confusing and just puts it back into automation. This works for many things, but what would be nicer to have is now the modulation. So let's move on to the next one. What I did here is I applied a modulation. So I have here a little ramp module, which now, if you look here, it's modulating here also the filter frequency. And you see here with VST2, it also moves the knob. So we did not really win anything with that. Moving now on to Diva from Yuhi, which supports now already the clap interface. You will now see that the cutoff is not moving anymore. So we can still tweak that as well. So we can now do both. So the patch is still the same. The patch is not modified by the modulation. And this is what they mean with non-destructive. So what is now polymodulation? Polymodulation means that you have something working polyphonically. Diva does not uh, support that yet. Um, but nevertheless, I wanted to show you that, that you can use envelopes uh, if you need more envelopes for monophonic stuff. So for example, here in that example, we modulate, what do we modulate? We mod here the cross modulation, which gives a very interesting effect. And for the note starts, so you see when the note starts and there is then the new trigger for that. So let's move on to search. So I did something similar with search. Modulated here the pitch with a ADSR envelope. And here you can hear the difference. It's now polyphonic, so each note has its own envelope playing. Sounds a bit different when poly is enabled. And yeah, so already they do uh, support this feature. And now let's have a look at 
what the voice decking does. So this is a very simple polysyn sound, so internal Bitwig device. And there is an option for voice decking. This is just the good old unisono, if you know what it is. So you just play different notes at once you just stack them if we only have one input node so we can crank this up to five here and then you can say what should be different with these five notes for example we could say this is a classic unison to spread the pitch a little bit so you get uh, the good old Hoover sound a little bit, but you can tweak any parameter you like with that. And it's spread in those notes. And this gives really very interesting effects. And this was so far only possible with Bitwix devices, but now Search supports already that feature now. So in search, I loaded a very, very simple electric piano sound, which sounds pretty boring. Besides that, I added a little bit of delay, but we can make this much more interesting with voice stacking. So if we do some voice stacking, you need to click here on a plugin to show that up. And there is a voice stack. Let's go to five as well. So it only gets louder so far. So let's turn it down a bit. But you can now also say what should change with voice stacking. And for example, we could change the pitch here as well. And this gives us a very, very interesting sound. And for sure you can change any parameter you like to change here as well. For example, we could say we want also to have the high pass filter and change that a bit just to make it a bit more interesting, the spreading. So these plugins really work now as first class citizen as well. Yeah, so very, very powerful new features with Clap plugins. And tell me what you think about Clap down in the comments. And also if you would be interesting uh, to have a more in-depth programmer's point of view and maybe also do some coding, which I'm not an expert on nevertheless, I think I can compile uh, some examples and give you some information about it. And yeah, tell me if that would be of interest to you. And until then, make some funky music. Thank you.